like when I was in high school. Okay. I could get the like chief of police to be in my, you know, in my oh, film, that's you know, so like, fun. And, and he was like, you want me to be in a film? You know, like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> cool. Do you want right. to use my police car? And I'd be break. like, yeah, we'll use <laughs> the police car. <laughs> <Yeah>. you know? <laughs> Welcome back to the zoo. We have another amazing guest today. We have Rick Casamietta, who is the director of All Sorts, which is the buzz of La Lif. Oh, thank you. You're Thanks. welcome. Yeah, yeah. It was a lot of fun. We had our uh, Los Angeles premiere there. Um, it was, you know, sold out. It was a lot of fun. Now, before amazing. we get into it, this story came to fruition for you about 20 years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I moved out to L.A. to be in the film business, and it was really hard to get a job, right? Like, you know, it was the middle of a recession. Um, I couldn't get a job, you know, delivering pizzas. Oh. So uh, I joined a, um, a temp agency, and I was doing a lot of temp work in different offices. And they send you to these, like, strange offices that don't have any windows, and you're, like, working in this cubicle, and everybody's afraid to talk because they might get in trouble. And it's just very strange, and it's very odd. And after working in those for a while, I got really depressed. I was just really sad because, you know, I had this dream of being in film. And I thought, wow, this is the real world that everybody's talking about. I'm never going to be able to, like, follow my dreams. And I got really sad. And I started doing a lot of writing. And um, as I was writing, I realized, you know, I was writing a lot of magic into this cubicle space um, because I was kind of trying to find my own way out of it, like an escape route. And uh, one of those stories that I wrote was about this woman named June, who's a really fast filer. She can just file <laughs> folders really fast. And she starts joining these uh, underground competitions. And that's what became <laughs> the story of all sorts. <laughs> underground filing competition is what Yeah, so imagine, you know, like, <laughs> imagine like a smoky room, you know, people with cigars, waving money around. But instead of like dog <laughs> fighting or something like that, it's like people filing folders into a filing cabinet. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So that's what the was yeah, there, was there an about. underground ring <laughs> at your job that inspired the story? No, but I like to imagine that, you know, like yeah. because that would be more exciting than what I was doing, <laughs> right? Which was just like you know sitting at a computer typing like these five thousand um, entries in this spreadsheet into this spreadsheet like over and over and over again. And I thought, what's an exciting thing that could happen here? And, um, you know, this movie is filled with a lot of magic. It has, like, paper clips that come to life. It has yeah. filing cabinets that eat people. And it's just, like, you know, kind of all of this, like, you know, magical realism. But instead of, you know, um, you know nature or something else, it's into the world of an office. I love yeah. that. It's the imagination yeah. that people lose when they work in those stale environments, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, like, when I was working in an office, I loved movies like, you know, Office Space, um, okay. Being John Malkovich. I loved reading um, Gabriel Garcia Marquez mm -hmm. because, you know, it infuses that magic and it gave me some sort of hope. And so that's kind of what I'm hoping this movie does. If you work in an office, I think this is a really great movie to see because it can kind of make you think about what could possibly be. Definitely. And how did it finally come to fruition? I mean, the idea is like you got this idea 20 years ago. Uh, we're in 2022. How did that? How did it develop? Um, so I've been, you know, I've I have a production company here in Los Angeles called Vibrant Penguin, and we do a lot of other work. And uh, but my I'm a storyteller, so I'm always kind of like ferreting away money to like make an, another movie. Okay. And so um, you know, I found a group of people that wanted to um, collaborate, and so I wrote the script based on all these stories that I used to have, and we filmed it in Yakima, Washington, which okay. is like this small town where I'm from in Washington State, and we were able to get an office building for like very, very cheap that wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to afford this in Los Angeles, absolutely no Never way. to be seen. There was yeah. a lot of community <laughs> that helped you out yeah, with yeah, this yeah. film, right? Exactly, oh, cool. exactly. Because yeah. you know, when I was shooting uh, short films there when I was in high school, okay. I could get the like chief of police to be in my, you know, in my oh, film, that's you know, so like, fun. And, and he was like, you want me to be in a film? You know, like, <laughs> okay, that's cool. Strange, Do you want right. to use my police car? And I'd be like, break. yeah, we'll use the <laughs> police car, yeah. you know? <laughs> and, um, and so. In Yakima? Yeah, yeah. And, and like, that's something that you, you can't do that with LAPD. They're not going to no. let you do that. <laughs> you know, whatever. So it really got the whole community involved, and it, it was a lot of fun. Now, I want to ask you a little bit about the, the 2000s tech in the oh, movie. Oh, yeah. Tell yeah. us a little bit about that. Well, the, the, you know, the, off, the, the movie takes place in the early 2000s. That's when I was working in an office. But, you know, I really wanted it to have this feel of that time because I think, like, you know, Windows 98, <laughs> um, screensavers, <laughs> you know, the, the, the laser skis. Yeah, yeah, exactly. MySpace, uh, the, like, um, the floppy disks, Nokia phones, and um, those CR big, huge CRT monitors. It's just a lot of fun. And I was like, 
it was so much fun getting all that stuff. Like we had people just like dropping it off in truckloads outside the um, the thing because people were like, oh, excited! Like I have this old Nokia phone. Like here, <laughs> the stuff that people had just lying yeah, around. You know, okay, yeah, definitely. Luckily, it, it came in handy. I was gonna say, yeah, where do you find those type of things? But I still have my Razor phone actually. <laughs> <laughs> I saw my LG it's so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> the Psychic, that was a good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the Psychic. Yeah. I want to talk about your outfit for the red carpet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, tell us a little bit about it because you wore a, a very true to the times of the early 2000s. Tell us about the suit that you right. wore to the well, premiere. Well, the movie's about the movie's about not being cool, right, and still being, you know, finding your friends and like, n you know, kind of transitioning from an outsider to kind of like hanging out with the outsiders and making your own group, right? And so I wore um, a huge, I bought this huge suit from um, Goodwill. It was about five times too big for me. <laughs> and, you know, I was just swimming in it, right? <laughs> and, um, and like, uh, I was like, okay, this is so, so big that it's going to be comical. And I don't want to be, like, cool. I want to be dumb. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, this is, um, this movie's about, like, silly comedy, right? So I wanted to be silly. Um, and I was like, okay, this is gonna be really fun. Like when the wind hit up, I would be like, you know, because it's just <laughs> so big. <laughs> yeah, it's just so big. But um, but my sisters, they they didn't realize that uh, I was making a joke. They're just like, what is he wearing? <laughs> Hello. He, he has that. He has that nice suit. Why didn't he wear that nice suit? And uh, but you know. <laughs> Where can people follow you? Um, they can uh, find it at uh, at all sorts movies or um, or www.allsortsmovies.com. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Just check it out and follow us. We're going to be bringing the, uh, the movie back to L.A., so, um, so stay tuned. I love it. And if you're looking for Ooh. some magic in your life, and, and in your office life, you got to watch this. Guys, keep it locked on the zoo. We're going to be right back with actress <laughs> Sarah Hay.